January 17th, 2021. We've had a bit of a cold snap recently and now we've got a thaw again here. So I'm out here getting some uh, water from what's remaining in the pool reservoir. I had to take a hammer and break a hole in the ice. So I'm basically dumping raw ice into the thermal masses, but uh, fortunately we can produce a ton of heat and melt that right back out. Just thought I would catch a clip of it. And I'm starting to stove up a little bit early. See the new stove pipe sticking out the top there? That's a lot nicer. Just a quick update. <laughs> yeah, that's ice in the thermal mass tank. Melting very rapidly. <laughs> we'll uh, take a look at the charts here. You'll see not showing much yet, but in the next couple of logs, you'll see those temperatures shift dramatically. I'll give them a clip of that in a bit. So probably 20 trips with a five gallon bucket from the pool to refill uh, the upper tank. You can see we've melted off all the ice in there already. The side tank, most of the ice is melted off of that. And then a reserve watering tank. And uh, I got the stove wide open. I've been running this at kind of low throttle lately because I really haven't been able to be out here and really uh, run it open normally hot like I would. So we got a little bit of creosote that built up here, so I'm burning that off as uh, as well. And then uh, we should be back in good shape, ready for. Uh, we have an upcoming cold snap, and uh, I want to be ready for that with moisture and uh, water reserves. So we're topped back up. Um, I'm still undecided about uh, filling that 275 gallon tank outside. Uh, not sure why I want to invest the time in that at this point in the season, but uh, we'll see. I may, uh, I may still do it. Anyway, uh, I think that's an update for now. I'll see what else I come across in here as we go. Uh, I did want to show uh, the lemon tree is continuing to flower, even though we have some white fly stuff here. It's flowering and growing. And uh, lemon, and lemon covered with white flies is growing. And the ponderosa lemon that Geeky sent me, the one that survived, actually two survived, but this one kind of, yeah, not so good. But that one actually is doing well. I'm probably going to dig that up and put it in the middle of the planter here, and then uh, that lemon will have a nice big planter to grow in and thrive in. Uh, thanks again, Jack, for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, so we got some uh, holy basil that have come up here. Those are doing good. I keep clipping from these for cooking with. And uh, the parsley that uh, my friend Aaron's uh, father-in-law gave me, Jose gave me, seems to be having a little bit of a struggle here. I don't know if that's the soil it's in or the fact that it gets pretty warm in here and it might be a little too warm for it or something to do with white flies or nutritional or what. Um, just have so much going on. I haven't had a chance to really get in here and... Uh, dial, tune, and tweak plants back in place, but that's all good. Other than that, things are uh, hanging out. Uh, the coffee tree is uh, putting on some nice new leaf growth, and uh, things are uh, doing okay. Ginger's kind of in that uh, sort of chill phase of winter that it gets into, and uh, I'm amazed that the turmeric still has green leaves on it here. That, uh, that blows my mind. That stuff is still cranking. I'll have to give that a shot of water later. Uh, I have to give most of these plants a shot of water once the water that I brought in warms up enough to not shock the plants. Okay, I think I've babbled enough. Maybe there was something I was forgetting. I want to uh, show the charts after I added the, uh, the icy cold water. You can see the uh, dramatic drop in the thermal mass temperatures. Dramatic drop in actual temperature probe temps. And you can see where I ramped the stove up real high. You can see that uh, red line climbing almost vertically. I throttled it back now, but uh, yeah, it's rocking. All right, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, if I have more to add, I'll add more. Otherwise, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Hope you found this interesting or informative. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Keep your friends close and your farmers closer.